Meanwhile, TxDOT is partnering with a startup company to launch a program designed to improve self-driving trucks on Texas roadways. Yeah, the technology will focus on a 21-mile stretch of State Highway 130 from Georgetown to Dell Valley. KVU's Matt Fernandez shows us what it all means for drivers. Riding along SH 130, by next year you'll see these poles set up. It's part of a project TxDOT and Cavenue are working on called the Smart Freight Corridor. The digital infrastructure includes cameras, radar, other communications hardware, as well as machine learning. And this is where we can use AI to our benefit. This digital infrastructure will eventually accommodate self-driving freight vehicles and can benefit all users of the roadway. Cavenue will set up the technology along a 21-mile stretch of the roadway in Central Texas. We'll have a focus on trucks. Trucking, which includes, you know, what we call like a level three platform. This is where, you know, the vehicle has adapt adaptive cruise control, call it, or lane, lane keep assistance, uh, automatic braking to facilitate drivers. These are supports for human drivers in many cases. Uh, or level four, which is fully, you know, autonomous, uh, driver typically is in the seat as a safety feature. Tyler Duvall is the CEO of Cavenue. The idea is let's go, let's go put that out there on the on the roadway. Let's bring in partners from industry, to, you know, who are building advanced vehicles to to work on this project, and let, let's showcase how we can improve the safety and efficiency of roadways uh, through technology. The technology can monitor speeds, hazards, and other road conditions. Texot says they'll use this data to focus on ways to improve safety on the roads as we could see more driverless trucks in the future. We know that the trucking industry is interested in self-driving autonomous trucks and so TxDOT wants to be on the forefront of this technology. Truck driver of 22 years, Abel Cisneros, says he'll keep an eye on driverless trucks. I think a lot of companies might, they might take advantage of it and it may put us in a position where we might have to find another job or a different type of job. As for the Smart Freight Corridor, the technology is expected to be set up by mid next year. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KV News.